Welcome back to Fab Automotive Detailing. In this video, you guys, I'm going to be using the brand new Turtle Wax One and Done. I'm getting this brand new 2021 Hyundai Palisade ready to receive a ceramic coating. And even though it's brand new, does not mean that the paint is perfect and you can just go ahead and apply a coating. So I'm gonna show you guys what this paint looks like beforehand and we're gonna see what this stuff can do. So let's do it. All right, you guys, so let's look at these new Hybrid Solutions Pro products from Turtle Wax. Now this is a kit that they sell. It'll come with all three of these products, all these pads. You're gonna get towels, a bucket, and a grit guard. Really, really good deal. And it's everything that you need to, to enhance your paint, make your paint look better, um, and then apply some protection to it. Now, what they have in this kit is the one and done compound. It's strictly a compound. There's no protection in this at all. And then you have the to the max wax, which is graphene infused. We will not be using these two in this video. And then the uh, graphene infused flex wax. From what I understand, this is very cool because you can apply this in many different ways, which is really cool. That's why they call it flex, because it's so flexible. But in this video, you guys, we're going to be using the one and done compound. The reason that I really like this idea, and we're gonna see how well it works in this video, um, is you can decide how aggressive you want this compound to be by the pad that you choose. These are the pads that come in the kit. So you get a Eurofiber 50-50 pad. Everybody, most people know what that is by now. It has some uh, microfibers that are really good at cutting and microfibers that are good at finishing, 50-50. And then as you go down, they get softer. And so that's how you choose your aggressiveness. Uh, one and done compound, just like their polish and wax, uses platelets, precision platelets is what they say. And they kind of align and kind of roll across the paint. Very safe for paint cracking, does a fantastic job from what I've used in that polish and wax. And we're gonna find out what we can do. Obviously, you always wanna start out least aggressive, so real quick, in the directions, it tells you basically if you're gonna try to remove heavy imperfections like sandy marks and stuff like that, you wanna use three drops on a wool pad or a heavy cutting pad. And then when you're done with your heavy cut, uh, for final polishing, apply three to four dime sized drops to a medium polishing pad uh, or a light finishing pad. So you're just gonna enhance the paint. You're gonna try to remove any of this imperfections that you put in trying to remove the imperfections um, by using this. And that's why it's called one and done. This can be used for all steps of the paint correction. All right, you guys, so I have that there because I'm gonna show you the roof because it's actually the worst of all of it. Um, at, so after I got done washing it, when he, when he pulled it in here, the night he pulled it in because it was dirty, I, it's gonna be so hard to show you guys this with this color. Um, I don't think I even can, to be honest with you. Let me turn this light on. My other light. Right there. See, there's a scratch there. There's scratches up here. I can't really show it to you. It's so hard to show right there. The GoPro does not pick up this very well. I hate it. And my, and my good camera that I normally use to pick up swirls and stuff, I'm waiting for batteries to get here because the charger broke, I can't even charge it. But you guys can see, go across this light right here. See that scratch going across the hood? You got scratches going across the hood here. I don't know if this is from them prepping and getting delivered. This is the worst of the, what's on the hood. Right here where my finger's at, see that? Yeah, right there, and then it goes all the way down the side to right here. But you gotta remember, it has to get delivered. It has to get prepped by somebody at the dealership. Who knows what they're doing? They left the adhesive on here, as you can see it right there. On all the black plastic trim, they left the adhesive. They didn't even try to remove it. Look at that, that line going around. Line going straight down. Back here, yeah, my paint light's just not gonna work. There is a line, almost like a knife, whoosh, right there. See if I can show it to you guys. It's so right there. And on the other side of the emblem, there's one right there. It's like, it just goes straight down. And I noticed back here, there's a smudge right here. And I'm trying to not give you guys too much of a shadow. Yeah, right there, you guys can see it right there. It's on both pieces right there. Hopefully, yeah, see that tape line? I mean, whoever prepped this car did a terrible job. There's stuff on the glass. I'm gonna have to fix this because look at the swirls in it. Oh yeah, I forgot about this up here. 
I don't even know what this is. Right there. It looks like adhesive. Right there. It looks like adhesive was on it. And then the roof is the absolute worst part. And I'm not I'm not dogging on this guy's car. It's a beautiful car. We're gonna make it look great, but we gotta get there first. I'm hoping you guys can pick that up. I have no idea what was done on this roof to do that. It's on the glass, it's on the paint. Luckily it's not a big roof because of the glass. See if I can show you guys like this, probably not. Yeah, there you go. But it's, it's weird, man, because it's all over the glass too. See that? That's what's on the paint. The glass shows it better. That's what's on the paint, all over the paint. I mean, it looks really bad. And then there's a spot over there So here's a spot here. You see all this? It's right along this edge. See all that? And then I noticed that the, this was really jacked up, the GPS. As you can see for like the satellite radio or the navigation. So yeah, got my work cut out for me on a brand new car. It shouldn't be that way, but it is that way you guys. And so don't buy a car and just throw a ceramic coating on it because if you miss stuff like that, you're gonna regret it in the future. All right, let's get some readings here. Four six, the paint is getting really thin, you guys. Four seven. Four and a half. Four seven. You gotta remember, two mils of this is supposed to be clear coat. Four and a half. I'm just gonna take a couple more here. Four point three. Let's just go back here to the rear quarter, just to see. Four three, four eight. Let's just see what it is inside the doors. Two seven, two seven, and two three. Yeah, we're working with some thin clear coat, and from what I understand, soft clear coat. All right, so let's try for this first. See that right there, and then I just noticed. There's one right there. So we're gonna try to see if we can get rid of these. I'm gonna use a black finishing pad first. I'm not going with a six inch machine because I'm just gonna spot correct in some spots like this. I just wanna see what it will do. If this will remove it, then I can put the big pad on it and just do the whole hood, but I, I, I doubt it will. Just a black finishing pad with a three inch polisher. Let's just see. It smells really good. Let's just see what it'll do. Got a test. Don't want to just go in all aggressive because this is soft clear. It could remove it. Let me go up to P5. These are the two pads that come in that kit, or two pads, listen to me, two towels that come in that kit. Let's see how easy it wipes off. Not bad. What I like about it is you can see through the polish as you're working it, which is what the polish and wax did, does also. I think that got rid of it. Now that's not gonna get rid of those deeper imperfections, but that is great to know. Look how much better that paint looks too. Cause it was about right, right around here somewhere. And this one's gone also. I did not go up to here, as you can maybe be able to see. Right there, there's one. I did not go up that high. But those marks that were there, they're gone now. 
All right, so I am really happy with that. So this one right here, man, it just doesn't pick it up. It's right there. You guys, these are not crazy deep scratches by any means, but we need to make sure this paint's perfect for it. Put the coating on. Now, now that I've already primed it, we're just gonna put a couple really small dots because I'm doing spot correcting. I'm not doing huge spots on the car. You know, a whole hood or a whole door. One thing I'm seeing already that I really like is that there's no dusting. Wipe off's pretty easy. It's not the easiest I've ever used, but it's still really easy. Spray some paint prep on there. And I'm barely rubbing when I do this on this soft clear. It's definitely soft as easy as it's taking those defects out. And they're not really bad defects once again. Okay, so it was somewhere around here. That looks really good. That's a very, very easy product to use. You can see right through the polish as you're doing it, which is really, really good. That's what you want. You want to be able to see through it. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this front of the hood. I gotta go along here with my smaller polisher. And I got a few spots here and there, like right there. Okay, so I tried using the black finishing pad on these right here, you guys. Man, the camera is awful. I can't wait to get my other camera back. Um, right there, you can see them. And the black finishing pad didn't do anything to them. So we're gonna step it up to an orange correcting pad. And we're gonna see what it does. Remember, it's right on the edge, so you don't wanna go real crazy, but that's where the paint is to finish. I cannot wait to try this stuff on a trashed paint. Sometimes you guys, the details you do aren't always trashed. Sometimes they're like this. But this, oh yeah, that looks awesome. Whew. This is a good example of why it's called one and done. I didn't have to grab it, another bottle off the shelf and change my pad. I'm using, I may see a little bit right there, but I may have missed that but I'm using the same product, just changing my pad. See, that one's gone. Right here. Yeah, you, I don't even know if you got, yeah, right there. You can barely see it. I'm gonna have to hit that one more time because I probably missed that. Okay, so now that I have spot corrected the hood, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with my five inch polisher. Now, other than that corner over there, I could have not even messed with using my three inch polisher, but I didn't know. Um, other than that, I had to get the orange pad out for that over there. But now I'm going to use the pad that comes in the kit, which is the black finishing pad, because we just want to enhance the paint. We want to bring the gloss out, just bring the richness of the paint out is what we're trying to do here. And we're not trying to do any paint correction at all. We're just going to level the clear before we apply a ceramic coating to it. So here we go. Now it is kind of thick in spots. Remember, it's leaving no protection. This is just the polish we're removing. See that? Like I said, it, it's not the easiest I've ever wiped off, but I'm telling you what, that ain't bad at all. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna follow it up with the green. And as Apex says, buff to perfection. That looks really nice. I didn't go this far down. Now, I don't know if you guys are noticing in the paint with the lights that I have, it's kind of blotchy. That's the paint, that's not the polish. Because I even had the polisher over here. See it? It's just the way they're painting these cars now. I've noticed that on a couple different brand new cars on that Toyota I did. It was the exact same way. Man, that, that looks awesome. All right, so what were we getting earlier? Four, six, four, seven. I've done the whole hood. 
four, five. Some spots were four, three earlier, four, six. So as you see, we're not move, removing like anything. There's four, nine. Four, nine. Four, eight. So as you see, we're really not removing much when you're just doing um, an enhancement. But look at this hood. It looks incredible. So glossy. This is how it should have looked when he signed the dotted line and he left the dealership. This is how it should have looked. It's amazing. You spend so much money on a brand new car and it has those problems like this one did. Okay, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to set you guys up here, but first I want you to see. Look at that light. I'm gonna use my three inch polisher with an orange pad. I'm not sure what that is. If that's some type of adhesive left over and they just, when they washed it, they just did a really crappy job or, I'm honestly not sure, but I tried rubbing it off with a quick detailer and it won't. So hopefully you guys don't slide around. We're just gonna do this section right here. Let's just see what it does first. You're seeing some stuff come off of there. That's not dusting. As you can see right here, that's that. That's an old pad. I need to get. I need to get a new one. Really bad. Oh my gosh, that worked great. Okay, so I was kind of worried about this up here. Oh, not anymore. That's awesome. Holy cow! Check this out. Wow. Because we started with that. Now, we've got that. Wow, that, that is huge. I mean, that's a huge improvement. That's a lot of weight off my shoulders because I hate polishing roofs. I don't know anybody that really does because it's awkward. You have to reach all the way over here. On a lot of cars, it's further. <clears throat> Makes it kind of difficult. This just made this job so much easier seeing it do that to the roof. So that is awesome. I've said awesome a lot in this video, I think. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am done with the one and done. I need to go over this really quick because it's starting to kind of sprinkle, but I need to make sure I got everything out here in the daylight. Look at this, though. Look how nice it looks. Looks amazing. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. But out here is where you really see if you missed any polish or anything like that. It's looking good. Yeah, looks good. I'm gonna have to finish looking at it. I'll show you guys what it looks like inside. So sorry that I kind of hurried it up there, but it started spitting when I pulled it out and I did not want to get a bunch of water all over this naked clear coat before I apply a coating to it. And that's not gonna be part of this video because it's a coating from a different company. I've already put a seven year ceramic coating or graphene coating on his, his car. Now his wife's new car is here and I'm putting the same coating on it, keeping it in the same family because he already bought all the products that he needs to keep it uh, maintained. So we're gonna use the same coating. So we're not gonna use the graphene from Turtle Wax. That will be in another video. So stay tuned. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe down below. Let me show you guys what this looks like in the garage, in the garage lighting. You saw it outside. Let me show you what it looks like inside. It looks amazing. Tons of gloss. I mean, it looks awesome. It was not this glossy when I got done washing it. It did a really good job flattening this paint, this clear coat. That's what you want. You want it flat as possible for the light to reflect so your eyes catch the gloss. It just did an incredible job. And that just looks so nice. I don't know I showed you at the beginning of the video, but I got all the, the residue off of all those. Polished those up too with it, which turned out great. Oops, I missed a spot, see? I dare I can wipe that off still. Went between all the lettering, got rid of what was here. I think this was adhesive on both sides because as I removed it, it smeared, um, which tells me it's adhesive. It's like when I put tape on a hood for a 50-50 and my pad hits that tape, it pulls that adhesive out. I was able to get rid of the little scratches that were back here. Just by changing my pad. 
I didn't have time to film everything, so I need to get this car done. The roof looks great. Now, the roof was not adhesive because it didn't smear. I'm not sure what was up there, you guys, but whatever it was, the one and done took care of it, no problems. Look at that gloss. I mean, it's just awesome. Said it again, I said awesome again. Anybody's keeping track of how many times I've said it, let me know. <laughs> it just looks extremely good. I could not be happier with the way that this turned out. And now it's ready for the coating. All I gotta do is use a panel prep on it. We're ready to go. All right, you guys. So the Hybrid Solutions Pro, one and done, correct and finish. Uh, awesome product. Uh, no doubt in my mind. Turtle Wax, two thumbs up. This is fantastic. You did a great job at developing this. Mike, you did a really good job at developing this product. I absolutely love it. Um, what I really like about it is it takes one product and it replaces three or four that could be in your cabinet. So if you're one that takes really good care of your paint, like this car, it's new, you take really good care of your paint and you just want to enhance it before you apply a coating or before you apply a wax or like the max wax or whatever. If you want to enhance it, it's going to do that. You don't have to go real aggressive. But if you have a car that shows up and it has uh, deep imperfections, because I've seen videos already that show that it can do it, you don't have to go buy another product. All you have to do is have a more aggressive pad, add that pad to it, same product, and you're going to get rid of those imperfections, the swirls and stuff like that. So that is awesome, you guys that you just basically have one product and the, the name suits it perfect. It got rid of all the imperfections that were on this paint. Yes, I know, because people are gonna say, but Fab, that's a brand new car. What, I mean, what, not every single detail is a disaster detail. You still have to use products on cars that are in good shape. The disaster details that you see on YouTube, I say that like that because they're set up. I don't care what anybody says. I've been a mechanic for 15 years. I see some of the nastiest cars you can imagine. I work on them at work. For 15 years, I see about 20 cars a week, and I can probably say one time I said, no, that is nasty, I'm not working on it, which is what I see in all those videos. That's the type of condition that car was in. In 15 years, 20 cars a week, just add that up. That tells you how often we see stuff like that. This is a typical detail for me, other than a lot of times the paint is usually a lot more tore up than this, but we were able to get a lot of really good gloss out of it. We brought the depth back, we got rid of the imperfections, and you really can't ask for much more than that, you guys. If this product is on Amazon, I will put it in my Amazon store. There's always a link in the description of every video. I'll also put a link to Turtle Wax website where you can buy this also, so you don't feel like I'm trying to get you to buy it from me, because I'm not. You can buy it from whoever you want. Um, I just always like to give you guys an option, because people always want to know, Fab, how can we help the channel? And that's one of the ways you can do it through Amazon. So I really appreciate you guys stopping by checking this video out. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Join the Fab family. We'd love to have you, and we'll see you in the next video.